Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an F and Sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to show a custom success message after a Webflow form submission. When a user submits your Webflow form, they see success text. We're going to dynamically update that text based on information the user enters into the form. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to walk through how this works. Watch as I enter in my name and I select my interest. Whatever I select as my interest is going to be used inside the success message. So I've selected Webflow CMS and the success message will say, will focus on Webflow CMS. This can provide a really, really personalized experience for anybody viewing your website. Inside Designer, we have a native Webflow form. In this native Webflow form, we have to apply a few IDs and classes. In this form wrapper, we've applied an ID of email form. Here in the select field, we've applied an ID of interest select field. We are applying the ID to this because this is the information that we're going to pull from the form to generate the success message. If you wanted to target the input field, maybe write a custom message with the person's name, you can also do that. So let's say, thank you, John. We will get back to you shortly. But for this hack, we're going to target the select field. And then finally, we are going to apply a class to the success text. So if I toggle on the success wrapper, we'll see the default thank you text that comes with the wrapper. What we're going to do is apply a class of insert success text so that we can change that text with JavaScript. Let's break down the code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. We're going to store a reference to the select field in the interest select variable. Then we're going to store a reference to the email form and store it as the email form variable. Then we'll store a reference to the insert success text class and store it as a success text variable. Then we're going to declare and initialize a custom success message variable. And what that is, is the value of the interest select field. So you see above, we created this variable. We're now going to use it down here. And this variable is the value of our interest select field. Now, every time the option of the select field changes, we have to update our variable as well. We have to update that value along with the user's changes. So let's say they select Webflow CMS and then they select JavaScript. We need to update along with their updates in the select field. So we run a function every time the select field changes and we're going to assign a new value to the custom success message. And when the form submit button is clicked, we are going to run an if statement. And we say, if the user selected an option on the select field, if this is valid, we are going to insert text in the insert success text class. So again, we are taking this variable we created up here, we're putting it right down here, and we are going to change the text of that text element and it's going to be our custom string of thank you. We'll focus on custom success message variable for future F and Suite Webflow hacks. And we're grabbing this as the value of that select field. And then after that, we submit the form. So when the form actually submits, we've already updated this success text. It's already sitting there before it actually submits and goes through. If there is no select option, if they never selected anything, we're actually not going to submit the form. We're going to focus on that select field 
and we're going to stop the form submission. So we're going to tell them, please select something in this field and then we will submit the form. This is very similar to a required field. And after that, we run the if statement again until they fill something into the select field and then we submit the form. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.